Hey YouTube, what's up again? This is Frank, Frank Redline RC. Thank you for watching my channel. So right now we're gonna install the 2.5 inch um, leveling kit on this, uh, on my 2020 Ford Ranger. And um, we'll see how that goes. First we need to secure the vehicle with jack stands using a jack, raise it up. Then we need to remove that tire on each side. We're using a three quarter. Removing the lug nuts. Your wheel aside. Do that for the next side as well, the other side. Next, we need to remove the control arm, control arm buckle here from the spindle. We might need to take the sway bar off here. We are going to remove the tie rod from here and then we need to get these uh, this eight millimeter bolt for the ABS line this uh, 10 millimeter bolt for the bracket for the brake line and then get all that out of the way and then there's three bolts here on top not this center one the three three outer bolts and then two two bolts down here for the strut. We take it out. One right here is a three quarter, maybe. I believe it's gonna be a sixteen. So this one is an eighteen. I need to remove that. Just gonna leave it loose a little bit there so when we drop it it doesn't go all the way down if it does This one is a 13 sixteenths for the tie rod on.
And to take it off, just hit here. Let me get a hammer. And there it is. So instead of taking this bolt off of here for the sway bar, I actually ended it from right here. There's uh, 18 millimeter bolts, four, two here, two on the other side. And now it's loose. So that should give me enough play, I think. We'll see how that goes. This is loose here as well. So I'm gonna take this nut off and make sure you don't, when you pull this out, make sure you don't pull the, the CV axle from the socket. I'm also going to remove the ABS sensor from here so we don't damage it while we pry out. And then there's three bolts here. These are 15 millimeter bolts. And then on the bottom, they're 18 for the, the struts. Both of them on the bottom right there. At this point, this is where I'm at. Remove that from there. The bolts are loose from up there these are loose down here i just need to pry down and take out the strut so i'm by myself here that thing is under a lot of pressure down there we need to really push down here and i need two people but i don't have two people so what i end up doing is i put a spring compressor on there and it gave me enough slop to bring the tension off of the spring here to drop it down and out of that pocket right there so then you mount your um your spacer just like that make sure you tighten these bolts and put it back in so now for reassembly everything's in there and we're going to put the knuckle back on there and tighten this and the tie rod Put the sway bar, sway bar back on and uh, brackets here for the brake line and the uh, ABS line. There it is guys. It's on there. It did lift it significantly. Get right in there. Everything's on. Wheels are on. And we'll take measurements. Before and after, I have um, I have measurements of before, and then I'm going to take measurements right now and see how high it lifted it.